Hi. So today we're at College Rock Park, which is on College Street. If you go down the road, it's about a mile on the right side or maybe less. And this is the beginning of the trail. It's a nice little parking lot. About 11 people can park here or so, eight people. The first thing you'll see is this really cool rock right here, which has some beautiful fern growth on the top and a couple of different kinds of moss, as well as some lichen. It's gorgeous. These birch trees have been growing right in the edge of the rock. So that's the first thing you'll see. A little history about this place. Um, a Hopkinton resident in 1962 donated or sold this uh, land, uh, 47 acres, to the town of Hopkinton for one dollar. Thank you, anonymous donor. It connects to 162 acres of Holliston Conservation Commission land. It's a great place for mountain biking, trail hiking, and there's a rock climbing area that we'll look at. Um, there is also an area that is or connected to this, that is a mountain bike owned place. New England Mountain Bike Club, I think, bought the area for, I think it's 47 acres or 45 acres, right along the highway that has the power lines. You'll see them biking in there. And there's a story, I think it's true, that our um, current president, when he was a developer, he still is, um, offered to buy that land and they went back to the board and they said, no, thank you. And they preserved it as a mountain bike area. So we almost had a casino there, um, but thank God and thank the mountain bike team, we don't. We just have this wonderful recreation area. So um, the first thing I noticed, a bunch of oak trees, different oak trees, birch trees. Let's go see what else we have. This is awesome because I can hear crickets, I hear chickadees, I see an acorn top. I've got to do this, sorry. Here's some downy woodpeckers up in the trees. I love this trail. Blueberry bushes. Wow, look at this. This is amazing. It's right in our backyard. And there are four marked trails here, but some other smaller trails. But one of the main attractions is this rock. Many different ways to go up the rock. Different rock climbers love to come here for this rock, College Rock. You got a dog here. Oh my God. That was scary. So this is a wonderful map of the different ascents that are possible up the rock. They have all got titles having to do with college experiences. So send money, send more money, uh, final exam. So there are different ways of going up the rock. And as you can see from the pictures of the rock, there are chalk marks where people have put their hands because they use chalk to keep their hands from slipping on the rock. So it's really an amazing place for rock climbing and for nature as well. On the flip side of this is a map of the whole area, so we'll look at that right now. So this is the side of the kiosk with the trail map. Right here is where we are on the north end of College Rock coming in here. 85 is to our west. 495 over here. 16 on the top. So this whole blue area is where we are. It's got great hiking trails, rock climbing, Biking, it's an amazing resource. Let's keep going. Oh cool, right here we have 
sassafras, which has the three different leaves. It's got the one that looks like a ghost, the one that looks like a mitten, and then just the oval one. You can make a tea out of that. And we have chestnut tree right here, and then a white pine. And in the distance, there are some little undergrowth of blueberry bushes I saw back there. Hearing crickets still, hearing a blue jay, and the leaves are softly falling. It's a good time to come down here. It looks like most of this is birch with some really tall maple and oak. Um, so right now the birches are turning yellow and, and the, those leaves are falling down. It's just beautiful here. So right here, this is a really amazing piece of nature because we have not only some beautiful lichen growing up on this tree and decomposing it back into earth, but also this tree has a quirky little mushroom right on the side of it. It's very cute. And then the side of this tree has all been riddled with woodpecker um, peckings. So lots to see and hear in this beautiful place. Oh wow, look at this. This is another climbing rock with a beautiful little side trail. Walk down in here, lots of moss and some lichen. It's beautiful. It's beautiful moss, almost like a little cave under here. And this rock would provide another set of climbing challenges. It's not as grand and glorious as the other one, but it's older and softer, so you would have to be, there are more um, subtle finger holds that you would have to find to climb. Yeah, and it's tall enough. Beautiful. So we have more of this beautiful rock, and I guess it is all the same age. It's just that some of it has sheer cuts in it and some of it looks more weathered. And this rock kind of merges into this beautiful rock wall here. So this must have been a property line at some point. You can hear the crickets. And I just walked through a spider web. So there's lots of nature here to be seen. Beautiful trails. All right, I'm hearing chickadee. I'm hearing woodpecker. And this low undergrowth makes this a different type of trail than what we've had before. Fern. So we're a little bit past the College Rock area and we're going to take a right here at this trail juncture. We're going to head to the south and see what's here. So right here, we have one of many mushrooms that I've seen. This is pure white. We have one coming up here that's a little bit more of a, a peachy color and it's brother there. And across the way, there's a little red one. Lots of mushrooms along this trail. Um, also crickets and lots of spiders. I think it's really good that we have so many spiders because they will eat the mosquitoes. And then we have another sort of ridge of rock um, to the left of the trail. I'm thinking maybe it's been pushed here by glaciers, would be my guess, a long time ago. Just beautiful. Ah, this is cool. So right here, we have a big stone wall continuing on that way. And this is actually a town border. This is the border of the Holliston land. So we're leaving the Hopkinton land, going into the Holliston land. And there's a trail marker up ahead we're going to look at. So here we have some more of these cute little red mushrooms. This is just coming up now because we've had some rain. I wouldn't eat these because they're red. Usually red means toxic in nature. But if you're a mushroom expert, you could come in here with your trail guide and, and check out what we have. So lots of really cool things. And up here a little ways, we actually have some red Indian pipe. Let's go look at that too. So we have some more amazing things on the ground here. We have some little blueberry bushes. We have these beautiful Indian pipe that are now red because of the fall. And we have this pancake colored mushroom. Oh, 
we also have dog poo. So if you're coming on these trails with a dog, please bring a little baggie and help your dog not leave its uh, stuff behind, okay? Thanks. So here we have the famous Hopkinton Holliston marker and you can see the Hopkinton Holliston wall, the rock wall. Um, what's interesting is we have the H on this side, the H on this side. It's clearly the marker for the Hopkinton Holliston line, but it's not right where the rock wall is. So I don't know if this came first or that came first or this got relocated, but it's kind of an interesting thing along the pathway. I hear a cricket. Oh, look, some beautifully lit blueberry bushes right over here. You can see the spider webs in them, maybe. Um, and this would be all full of blueberries in the summertime. So right now it's fall. We don't have the blueberries, but we still have that beautiful ground cover of the blueberry bushes. So I'm noticing this area is a little bit of a different undergrowth. We have lots of ferns here, like a fern forest. And oh, on this tree, we have a yellow blaze. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right in this rectangle here about the size of my hand. So we do have four mark trails. There's the yellow, orange, green, and red trails. So if you're seeing a blaze on the tree, that's one of those colors you're on that trail. So we're coming up from a little bit past our last stop. There's a yellow blaze on the tree to the left. I'm not going left because there's a hidden gem straight ahead. So we're gonna go off trail, follow me. So here is what we were looking for. It's a tri-corner piece of rock. It's in a triangle. If you look at it on top, it's exactly a triangle. On this side is H for Holliston. Over here we have a red H for Hopkinton. And on this side we have a carved M for Milford. So right here is where the town lines intersect. It's really cool. There's also a sort of an earthy smell here. Um, it's hard to describe, but lots of things for all the senses here. So here we have some more of these beautiful rocks that are all along this trail, not in part of why it's called Rocky Woods. And some of the rocks in here have some Native American connection. There is a Native American medicine wheel set up somewhere in these woods. I don't know where exactly. But right here, if you're into rocks or you love to be interested in figuring out what's where in terms of the rock species, this is where the granite quarries from Milford are a little bit farther over there. So all these rocks are pushed up by glaciers and they've been here for a long time. It's really fun to look at them. There are different sort of positions and I know there was a, a talk from a Native American person interested in preserving Native American stone structures to say that the way the rocks are positioned actually has a spiritual meaning depending on which um, outcropping it is. So this is really cool because next to that rocky ridge right there, this is now kind of a rocky path that we're walking on. It's beautiful, carries us right through. Awesome. So as we're walking along this rocky path, we see some water coming into the path a little bit because we have a beaver pond to our right, which we're gonna look at in a minute, but we have a froggy. I don't know which kind of frog, could be, could be a baby bullfrog, but I don't see any green on him. Anyway, hi frog. I'm gonna go by you froggy. Oh, sorry. So as we go past the rocky walk and the frog, there's a bridge here on the ground with a little stream. There's a path to the right. Let's go see what's up here. Okay, so walking up this path, I'm noticing dead trees. I know there was water. And as I come up the ridge, wow, look at this. It's 
so beautiful. So this is a pond right here in the middle of the woods. As I look around, I see there's a beaver dam area on the left side, um, I guess where the stream goes down, that they would want to keep the water in the pond and um, prevent it from moving. I do hear kind of a hush of traffic. So that tells me that the Milford bike trail is just past these far trees. But again, when we're here, we, we don't see anything other than nature and lots of it. It's beautiful here. So here we have the beaver dam, which is a mud wall that the beavers put together with sticks and plants to maintain a uh, boundary so that the water stays in the pond and they can have their own private fishing area and vegetation to eat um, while their family grows up. So when the adult, the baby beavers turn into adults, they get kicked out of the nest. The adult beavers live here as long as they want to until they deplete the resources. Then they move on and the beaver dam at that point falls apart because the beavers are not maintaining it at that time. So all the water would come out. This area here would turn into a meadow after the water's gone, um, but it has a lot of good natural resources left behind from the nutrients of um, having the beavers live here. So it's a circle of life, it's all good, and um, kids would love to see this great area for families to come to. So I am liking this lichen. As you see, this lichen with these bigger sections almost look like leaves all over the rock. We have some of the, the different kind of lichen right here, the lighter green, that's what we normally see. Um, but it really lifts, it's a sort of a symbiotic, it lives on the surface of the rock collecting the nutrients that fly by or fall into it and it just covers all of this rock area with this beautiful natural covering. So here again right next to the other place we have this lichen that looks more uh, alive than the other one. We have this beautiful moss, different kinds of moss and these are the spores that come out of it that send out the, the seeds and then the green lichen here so lots of lichen on this plant on this rock and these all kind of live together in symbiotic relationship. One feeds the other and it, it all works in this beautiful little biosphere. So here we are past the beaver dam. Right here the trail goes down through the pond and if it's shallow enough you can take your bike over onto the Milford bike trails. We're going to go left and one thing I want to say is I haven't seen any poison ivy at all. So that's a really good thing. Okay right here we have a trail junction. We're going to keep going to the left. We have some great cricket noises here and a little bit of grass because we're getting more sun. Let's go this way. So this is called the farm trail um, because the mountain bikers like to name the different trails and because we're coming up to Beaver Brook Farm. So we see a nice sign here. It's private property, it's a horse farm, and they very kindly let the trails go through here. So, leash your dog, stay off the grass, which would mean the grass of the farm, not the grass of the trail here. No motorized vehicles, obviously, because they're very considerate to let us go through their property. So we want to return that consideration. Well, let's go. So this is a cool little thing. This is actually a mountain bike feature for the trail. The mountain bikers actually maintain many of these trails around here because they use them all the time. But this is a really awesome thing for them to be able to do. Um, and the walkers can just go around it or the horse riders, horseback riders. So here we are still on Beaver Brook Farm Road, uh, trail, sorry, and uh, headed back towards College Rock. And right here, this is another beaver pond, which is apparently the name for Beaver Brook, cause for Beaver Brook Road. Name, um, and that mound right there is a beaver lodge with all the vegetation growing on it. So that's where they live. They block off a brook, they make a pond, and then they live in the lodge. Amazing. 
So as we're walking on this part of the trail, we see we are now on the orange trail we jumped over. Um, there is a little bit of, of gun club noise in the background, so don't be alarmed, they're far away. There are hunters that come here in season, so you do want to make sure to wear bright colored clothing if it's hunting season. So here we are at the, well not the end, but we're towards the end of the trail coming from Beaverbrook Farm. This is a uh, division in the trail again. This part actually goes to the top of College Rock. And we're not going to do that to today, but it's a great trail to go on. We're going to go down to the left to go back to where we were in the front of College Rock and see if we can catch any climbers on there. So that's the College Rock Trail. We're now at the parking lot and uh, we hope you visit. You can come with your family and we have a guided tour that can go out with the Hopkinton Trails Club in October. So if you check out the Hopkinton Trails Club site, you can get information on that. And we hope you join us next time on What's Out There.